My name is Walter Chazen. I'm a faculty member in the Department of Departments of Biochemistry and Chemistry, and I am the Chancellor's Chair in Medicine. I also am the founding director of the Center for Structural Biology and currently am director of the Molecular Biophysics Training Program and the Chemical and Physical Biology PhD Program. My laboratory uses a variety of different tools and methods to accomplish our goals. Uh, of course, I'm a, we're structural biologists and we utilize a variety of structural biology techniques ranging from X-ray crystallography, NMR spectroscopy, small angle scattering, and electron microscopy in its various forms today. But uh, in addition to that, we really focus on solving problems and even structural biology typically does not provide all the answers. One needs to complement those studies with biochemical studies, with biophysical analysis, and even uh, our lab carries out some experiments in cells, functional analysis. So it's really a broad range of techniques that are used in the lab. We really focus on the problems. So what attracted me to my area of research actually stems from a very early interest in molecular structure as an undergraduate. I am trained as a chemist, and so I always studied small molecules. Even in my PhD, I worked on determining the structure of small organic molecules known as natural products. And when I was uh, finishing my graduate studies, I, the first papers that were published on applying NMR spectroscopy to proteins uh, were, was published. And I was just fascinated by this because here there were really, really large organic molecules and I already enjoyed studying natural products. So the shift up to proteins was just a natural progression. And from there, I've spent my entire rest of my career becoming uh, a biomedical researcher because when I started out, I uh, really was a chemist. And uh, hopefully I've made that transition over time. <laughs> so I'm a structural biologist and we have two major research areas. One of them is largely called genome maintenance and the other one in innate immunity. But what we do as structural biologists is determine the three-dimensional structure of biological molecules like proteins, DNA, RNA, uh, carbohydrates, those are the classic uh, biomolecules, and we really strive to understand how these molecules work. So for example, in genome maintenance, we're trying to understand how the many proteins that are active at a replication fork work together to replicate DNA. Basic science is important uh, to my area of research because in fact I work almost exclusively on large teams that span the spectrum from the clinic to basic science and I represent perhaps one extreme end of that spectrum but I think one that is essential in the way that uh, our teams approach problems and so in my view basic research that eventually will be applied to advancing the goals of science and society uh, requires an, an element of basic research which I am appropriately trained for and which I bring to the table in these various investigative teams. So my approach to running a lab is built around the idea that my trainees should become independent scientists. This to me is the most critical uh, aspect that I try and develop. And in order to do that, uh, I must serve as a kind of mirror to help uh, students, graduate students and postdocs and even undergraduates understand what are their capabilities, what are their strengths and weaknesses, and how they can apply and uh, overcome their weaknesses and utilize their strengths to make the best contribution they can to advancing science. So success stories that have come out of my lab really range uh, also a large gamut. I've had a long career. I think first and foremost, uh, I would 
say the biggest successes out of my lab, perhaps most labs, are the scientists that we train. And uh, I'm, I've trained over a hundred different graduate students and postdocs over the course of my career. They're scattered throughout the scientific enterprise from high school teachers to uh, professors who I dare say are uh, better known than I am. And I, I, I'm even proud of that.